few weeks ago an angel of the Lord came to me and he caught me up into the spirit and began to show me some of the things God wants to release to our generation and he said God wants to release grace God wants to release strength and God wants to release wisdom he said grace is the ability that God is giving to this generation to live above death and corruption so we will be armed on the left and on the right to counter everything the devil is doing so the heads of many will be exalted like the horn of the unicorn the heads of many if that doesn't come upon you your life will be a struggle you don't do what you do because you are smart you do what you do because by divine politics you were ordained and when that grace comes upon your head whether the devil likes it or not you are exalted like the horn of the unicorn he said this is one of the spiritual commodities that is given to this generation and many have been numbered so the reason you begin to sense hunger to pray is not because you love prayer there is a wisdom from the mountains of zion that is sucking you to the place where you will interact with grace because that which god has to offer is on the mountain so blow the trumpet in zion sound an alarm upon his holy mountain so when that hunger comes to fast you are hearing the sound of a trumpet the angels that are part of your calling and were commissioned with you from zion they are beginning to suck your reality so your spirit man begins to tell your natural man come brother there is a key on the mountain waiting there is a key it's a summon to deep places because only them who travel to the deep can see the wonders of god graces have been allocated so angels creatures of heaven are wooing men to the presence wooing men sucking them into prayer it looks as if they are useless many are distracted with the pursuit of life they are pursuing things because the devil brings anxiety as a burden and put on their shoulder we don't run by speeding we run by waiting so it doesn't matter who moves first the guy can labor and go forward wait for me when i touch that grace he said the hand of God came upon Elijah. He outran the chariots of Ahab. It doesn't matter if you are running on the chariot of the king. What is the grace on your head? When he comes, forget it. You will lead your generation. God is releasing graces. Many who are non part they are not aware. Somebody enters his room. He came from a church service. He still wants to pray. What you don't know is that before you came home, the angel was waiting for you. Because he knows that the journey to the top of the mountain is yet far. And you have not prepared enough. So you prayed in the morning, but you must pray in the night. Because you must touch that grace. It's an oil flowing from Zion. How many would that oil rest on their head? Kamash. Fedakarias. Gadagasigis. Mantekabaki Robarask. Mandaria Pades and Agavis. Mekorina Hadak, the men that should change the fortunes of nations are here, but they don't know the value of grace. They don't know the things that were captured into the season. They don't know that even though the devil sent a plague, God has turned it out for our good. You were supposed to change Canada, but you are distracted by Chevron. So God says, sit at home, and the angels are wooing you every day. And then you end up on Big Brother Niger. He has seen you and he discovers getting to the top of the mountain. We take eight months. So he began in January. But you spent January to April watching a program. So even when you continue, you will not reach the top unless by mercy. We stand up, we say it's our generation, it's our generation. And we are on Facebook chatting from morning to night. We don't know. Go ah, yeah. Yeah. Ah, ah. Ah. I saw a vision in the spirit and it troubled me. I saw men that were in church for 10 years were there mastering activity. And I saw young people who just came in from outside overtook them and began to lead the generation. I said, God forbid. We must be discerning to sense the summons of heaven. A grace is coming. 
And the second thing God is releasing is stamina. So that men will finish strong. Because there are two kinds of darkness. The first darkness stops the move of God. The second darkness prevents the move of God from beginning. He said, and in those days, the voice of God was cast. This was a move that began with Samuel, but Eli had destroyed it. He said, the voice of God was cast. The lamp in the, in the sanctuary had gone off. The move had died because no man to tend the presence. Moves die. We run for meetings, we receive impartations, but their lifespan don't exceed three weeks. And then we come to brag how many men have laid hands on us and who and who we snap pictures with. It is the grace on your life that gives you an identity in Zion. What if you went to Zion and they told you you are the Elijah of your generation? And then when they check your profile, there was nothing like Elijah that reflected in your life. Because you didn't climb the ear of David to wear your garment. What is coming is heavy, but it's by grace, not by flesh. I know you are smart, I know you are intelligent, I know you are an orator, but orators are not needed. The wise are not needed. It is the grace. The engraced of God and the ones who are needed. And there's a place where men wear garments in glory. He said in Songs of Solomon, Solomon chapter 4, verse 4, he said, On the neck of the mountains of David are the shields of many warriors. The feeble will become mighty. You will ask them, ha. Ah. It's a 400 broken and battered men came to David in the cave of Dulam. He doesn't need your strength. The one you have to do with his name is called El Shaddai. He doesn't need your strength. That's why God breaks men to use them. So you lose your confidence in what you think you have. It's not, a, it's not an asset in the spirit. Broken and battered men, they met David. And when David was through with them, they were called the mighty men of David. Designation had changed because strength has come. It's part of our artillery. If all you have is your certificate, my brother, you can't stand the tide. It's a heavy one. You need stamina in the spirit. That's why he said about the young man in 1 John chapter 2 verse 14. I write unto you young men because you are strong and the word of the Lord abides in you and you have overcome the evil one. You are strong. Why are you strong? Because your stamina is in the waters of the spirit. The word of the Lord abides in you. These are the men that eat the word of God every day. He said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded the mouth of God. Wonders are weapons of young men. Say you have overcome the evil one. So when you want to see a man who is a young man in the spirit, check how many damage he has done to darkness. But you need stamina. 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 And then wisdom wisdom is an house built by understanding it is established and by knowledge the chambers are filled wisdom is not intelligence is the ability to enter into the heart of his spirit and isolate his counsel so you live by the light of God that's why Job said by light I walk through darkness by light I walk through darkness he had the ability to enter the heart of God so when Job speaks He's talking because he has isolated the counsel of God. It's not an activity for prophets. It's one of the weapons of the army. Thank God for the edge that the prophets have. But every one of us must learn how to enter the heart of God. So when we talk, we confound darkness. 